Farida. Yes. Nakaziwe. It's nice to have you. Thank you. Nice you know, to meet um, you, Juliana. It's interesting because this time I'm the one interviewing you. <laughs> the last be time good. you were interviewing me. Oh! Be good, I have girl. to be good because then you'll pay back. Yes, I will. <laughs> and I'm waiting for you eagerly. <laughs> it's good to see you. How have good you been? See you. I'm very well. Thank mm. you. How's it going with the, your career? Uh, we are moving. Yes. Slowly by slowly. Mm. Take each day as it comes. Yeah. Yeah. There are some bit of limitations, uh, yeah. but you can do what you can. You do what you can. Yeah. Um, when I talk about TV personalities in Uganda, mm. there are certain names that just stand out automatically. Don't tell me I'm one of them. You are. Oh. You are one of them. Thank you. Your delivery is just perfection. I don't know how you do it. You just seem to easily connect with everyone who's watching you and i think that's a gift it is um there are times when you watch tv or listen to the radio and you can tell that okay she speaks well but maybe like you're she, not following what they're that, saying she, she's trying she's hustling into it exactly i think you are born for your job you do it so even when you're reading news oh my god for me when i'm watching tv if i'm watching the news on local tv it has to be NTV and it has to be Farida or Frank. So you miss out so many shows, so many programs. <laughs> I actually watch news because of you guys. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Of course, the way you package it, of course, is also very good. Important. I mean, the, the package is so important. But then the delivery for me is so important. I used to work on the radio, you remember? Yeah, I cut so. So, you know, we were taught these things and, you know... For someone to be speaking to the public, it's important for you to be able to connect with them. I need to feel like you're telling me the story in person. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what you do so well. What's your journey been like? My dear, <laughs> I don't know mm. where this all comes from. Mm. But like you said, it could be a gift. I it remember is. in school, uni, uh, during our TV classes, mm. I'm naturally a shy person, so really? I used to sit back a lot. Okay. And for the few times I would get on the set, mm. as we did our practice, mm -hmm. uh, I did what they, what, what they told me to do and go off. So one day, some, uh, a fellow student told me, mm. right, I think the camera is good on you. And I didn't take it serious. And so when I was out and this, I was choosing uh, of the four, what I should go with, because we didn't specialize. We did all writing, uh, TV, radio, and and PR. So I decided to go for TV. Mm. I remembered what she told me, and I thought uh, I, I I can try and do it. I didn't have a lot of uh, experience in it, mm. but I was like, I think this is what I prefer. Yeah. People look at the picture, they believe more when mm. they see yes. than when you go behind the mic and the, you're talking to them, they can't even see you. They're yeah. imagining who is this person talking to us. So I chose TV and went. So my first shot was at WBS immediately after uni. Mm. And I was a bit uh, disappointed when they told me my voice was too not good for TV. Mm. Yeah, they told me Interesting. so. Interesting. Yeah, it wasn't good for TV. Mm. So they told me, Farida, you still have a long way to go, work on your voice, but we shall give you an opportunity. You come, uh, when did they say it report. Was wrong with the voice again? It wasn't good for TV, I think broadcast. <laughs> How? I don't know, they didn't explain. You know, you're young, you're looking yeah. for an opportunity. Yeah. So they told me, you will be reporting, we shall keep you, but you'll mm. be reporting. Mm. I think because I came from a big person, I was referred by a big person. Mm. So they gave me the chance. I was there, I went to the field, I did the reporting. A few months later, they gave me a show, a uh, 10 minutes show, mm -hmm. which used to run thrice a week. It was a traffic show. So that is what I used to do for, for about nine months mm -hmm. before I left WBS. But yes, I'm glad they gave me an opportunity and Paula and Paula, my voice grew, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they didn't give me the chance to anchor even after that because they mm -hmm. told me try and when you grow, Mm. When the voice grows, we shall give you. I didn't bother asking because I was already disappointed. I thought I wasn't good enough. Yeah. So I gave up and did the reporting. And uh, when NTV came, I applied. I still didn't apply for mm. anchoring because mm. they had already disappointed me. You thought you wouldn't get I, it. Yes, I applied for editing and reporting. Imagine that. Yes. 
But when I got before the interview panel, they told me, okay, can you read news? I told them, I've never read it before, but I can try. They gave me a script. I read before them. They told me, can you do Luganda? Yes, translate. I translated there and then and read. They told me, okay, we'll, call, we'll get back to you. So three days later, they call Farida, uh, come and sign your contract. I go and the, the appointment is Anka, News Anka. Mm. I think they saw potential in me and they gave us chance. We were trained mm. by big people from BBC, from here, and here I am. Here you are, <laughs> yes. one of the biggest news readers Thank in the you. country. Thank you. I get that. How do you, how do you maneuver through your different, you are a mother, mm -hmm. and then you have a TV job that sometimes requires you, but sometimes when I watch you in the morning and then I watch you in the evening. Yes. Do you, how do you do that? And you have to pick the kids from school and then go home and then, how do you do that? Uh, I've taken them to boarding school oh, this okay. year. Okay. Yeah, but before, uh, that was five years. Mm. No, not even five, because they had three years of, of nursery. Mm. And the big one was in, in, in P5 when I decided to, P6 when I decided to take them to boarding school. Mm. But before that, I used to have, so you know how you, God never gives you what you can't handle. Yeah. Yeah. I used to wake up very early in the morning. We would wake up as early as four, uh, uh, quarter to four, mm. or even five. Mm. Of course they cry, mommy, mm. sometimes they're so weak, mommy, I don't want, then you sing, then you, <laughs> you threaten, then you're like, okay, today, to buy chocolate. I'm not going to buy anything for you, and then they get up, yeah. then you hustle through seeing them bathe and then dress up, she doesn't want to, to, to dress up, then mm. meanwhile you have to do your, yours in the bathroom, I mean yeah. in, the, in the bedroom, mm. so sometimes the house help is there to help, but as a mother, you know, mm. so I'll drop them myself, as uh, you know, Kampala traffic. Yes. Yeah. So we had to make sure we leave home by six. We are already on the road. Uh, in the evening, of course, with my account gazi, that is when there is rush hour. There is mm. no way I could pick them. Yeah. So I hired a shuttle. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The shuttle would take them to school. I mean, back back, back home. home. Yeah. And then I do my work until later, like at about eight eight thirty, and go find them. Mm. Uh, we do the homework, and then you have to see them to bed. And mm. it is not easy. So mm. I was like, let them go learn some of these things that I'm probably failing mm. to teach them yeah. because of my schedule at mm. work. Mm. So they go and uh, I keep checking on them. I, I used to go every Friday. Mm. When you don't <laughs> go and go again, they're like, mommy, I cried when you didn't oh. come. Oh, mommy. I was like, don't worry. Sometimes mommy is busy, but I'm here. They understand because we are very, very good friends. Yeah. Yeah. So when they came back for the holiday, mm. they were changed, especially the big girl. She was so changed. She would wake up, Mommy, I'm going to make you breakfast. You want eggs? Wow. Yes. Yeah. She was a big girl. I was so shocked. <laughs> I was shocked. I was like, why didn't I take them in P3? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's it like to be in the media, in the media as a woman? Mm -hmm. um, I know what it's like to be in showbiz as a woman. And it comes with its ups and mm -hmm. downs. But what's it like to work um, in a place where sometimes you're required to go to certain places, cover certain stories in mm. areas that are scary, mm. go for a story on the, on the news bulletin that you're even afraid to share, but you have to. Yeah. Um, what's it like for a woman in, show, in, in, in the media? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the media business doesn't know whether you're a woman or you're not. You have just like uh, they will tell you to go. You'll find yourself covering a you're Muslim, for example, mm -hmm. and you find yourself covering a piggery farm. So let me ask Doesn't. you, for example, if you're going to cover, say there is a protest on Kampala Road, mm -hmm. and I did and there's, cover those. Um, there's tear gas, there's all kinds of things. Are you given protection for that? It depends on the media house. At NTV, those things are catered for. There okay. are media houses that don't have that. They treat that as luxury, wow. unfortunately. Wow. Yep. So you have to find your way out. Mm. Yeah. There was a strike. Taxi drivers mm. Mm. just decided to strike. They put down their cars and there wasn't too much business. And on top of that, they went ahead to fight the police that was taking charge of the new taxi park. I found myself... Uh, on the, on the way to, 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 to the taxi park, 
to cover the story. Mm. Stones were flowing from inside the park. Remember, there's a perimeter wall. Yeah. So they were throwing stones from inside to outside, thrown to the police. So I was there. <laughs> In between. Yes. I think that was the first challenging one. You don't know how I shouted. I had a cameraman with me. <laughs> I was like, I am dying. They're going to hit my toes. They're going to hit my nose. I didn't have protective gear. I wasn't ready for it. Mm. Uh, but we didn't think it was going to be that hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it escalates with time. Yes. So they started throwing stones. I was scared. I called the office. Please send me a Kylie to get out of this place. Alfred looked at me and said, Farida, please get out of here. I'll handle. Don't worry. I'll bring the pictures and you look through them and come up with a script. That is what I did. I called the office. Thank God there was a driver ready. They came, picked me up. But these are things that happened. I mean, happened to women. Mm. If, of course, it happens to men as well. But yeah. women, you, you may sympathize because our society sympathizes with a woman. And women in are such more situations. Yes, they are. Yeah. But there's a police officer who was hit actually. Oh. Yeah, on the cheek, and she was bleeding. I was like, I can't, I can't deal. We have a challenge of being judged, and people seem to think they know who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, you find an entire story on you mm -hmm. and who you're dating. Has who, it ever occurred to you, you and you, you find people claiming you? Oh, she's yeah. She's been my girlfriend. Yeah. She's actually my girlfriend now. I've been with her. I have her pictures. When you ask them to show you the pictures, it is pictures that are on social media. They are not uniques. Uh, I don't know whether you've them. experienced it, but me personally, I've had maybe on two occasions found like a fan and he asked for a picture mm -hmm. and I give him a picture. And the next minute I'm hearing, or I'm seeing the story trending somewhere, saying, that's my new boyfriend. Or he's saying, oh, you know, I know this chick, actually, we dated a bit. But then you remember, you're like, okay, this guy asked me for a picture. Exactly. I met him at the lobby, someone asked me for a picture. Um, I don't know what the intention is. Yes, but it's, it's hard being a woman. It is. In, in the public eye, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah, but also it comes with its advantages sometimes. Yes. A apart from the judging, if mm. society wasn't also so gullible, because there are people who are so gullible, mm -hmm. they would say something and just take it as is. Mm. Yeah, somebody won't bother to judge. Okay, how does this connect? Yeah. How they'll just believe and then they come. Everybody now with social media, everybody has a right. Mm -hmm. They believe they have a right to say what they what is on their head. Yeah, I mean, they all have they'll an say. Opinion. So it is up to you as. Uh, the person mm. in the public eye to say, you know what, that can pass. Yes. Let it go. Isn't it, it interesting is how, you know, you just, the moment you become a public figure, that just comes with it. Mm. Being talked about, being... And when you throw in a word, somebody tell you, yeah, what did you expect? No, you as give long them as much you... too. <laughs> As long as he chose that direction, then yes. bear with what we have to say. Come on now. Are uh -huh. you saying I signed up you know, to all of this? Yes. I think it's not fair, but people use it as an excuse when they want to attack you. They say, oh, you signed keep up. Keep quiet. This is what you signed Sit up. Sit down. <laughs> I can't, you want me to keep quiet, but you can't keep quiet. Yes, I, I, I came to do a job, so yeah. give me the chance to do it. True, mm -hmm. true. If there's a girl... Um, out there who's been watching Farida and wants to be like Farida but is afraid mm -hmm. and thinks it's impossible how would you encourage her yeah. nothing is impossible mm. just like I was discouraged in the first place exactly and uh, when I got the opportunity the good thing is uh, the unfortunate bit is not so many people get the opportunity to prove themselves mm. uh, because there are not so many opportunities anyway. But when you ever get a chance, mm. just prove yourself. Just like I was given a chance. Yeah. And I was like, okay, for it I shine. Believe in yourself. Yeah, mm. just shine. So if you ever get the opportunity, mm. please don't give excuses. Mm. I say, I, I came late. I said this time, my makeup was off. No. Mm. Sometimes it is beyond the makeup. You can do the makeup later, but mm. just attract this person's attention. Let them not let you go. Use the opportunity. Seize the opportunity. Yes. Yeah. And nothing will stop you. Also believe in yourself. Yeah. Find someone to talk to. How did mm. I do it? That's true. Yes. Don't we all need that person who yeah. 
taps you on the back and pushes you when you feel like stopping, mm -hmm. when you feel like you're afraid to continue, and they say, you've got it, keep going. Are there many? The oh. women to look up to, the women to give me maybe advice, the women I could look up to for inspiration, how did they handle this? I didn't have that many. Uh, and because of that, I learned on the job. Exactly, that is how what. How to maneuver. The That's challenges what. I met on the way. Like they this. make you strong, I hey, before you're ready. I yes. used to be a very weak girl. You yeah. know those cry babies, somebody does something to you. Why didn't you I say, if I don't let the tears out, okay. I, sometimes I don't come down Same or I here. just go and sleep. Same and then I start to judge myself. I judge myself a lot. Mm. So I don't even know why I judge people who judge me. I, I mean, I look at people who judge me. Mm. I judge myself a lot. Mm. Not in a bad way, but I'm like, okay, is it me who annoyed them? How did I end up clashing with them? Mm. And, and it is something that our father used to tell us about. Okay. Every time something bad happens to you, go to your bed. Mm -hmm sleep a little, mm. calm down, then you begin to ask the questions to yourself. Mm. Then by the time you're out, whether it's, it's you in the wrong way it is them, you will have the heart to come and tell them, you know what, let's forget about that. Mm. I am sorry. Yeah. And have you got any female figures in your life that have been that support system to you? It's mostly your my mom. and your life. It's mostly my mom. Okay. Yeah. But I've also seen people who have encouraged me. For mm. example, former boss, mm. Aggie Asima Konde. She mm. was an MD uh, a, few, uh, a few months, a few years ago. Okay. Yeah. She, there's a way she, she saw potential in me. Mm. You know, with Masism Tia, mm. for sure. Mm. Uh, it was there for some time. Mm -hmm. I had done a proposal and given it to my line manager. Oh, to go it, through. it was your proposal? Yes, it was my idea. Okay. Yeah, so it was always on the shelves, manager after manager, three mm. managers, mm. it was on the shelves. So one day she, has a, uh, she, had, she was supposed to speak to some, I think ladies, something to do with the media. Mm. So she wanted some talking points and invited us, the ladies mm. in the newsroom to speak to us and she's asking, Besides what we've talked about, tell me ladies, what is going on? Why don't I see you being so aggressive? All the big interviews are given to the Camaras, the Morrises, yeah. um, the Senyonis. Mm. Why don't I see girls coming up to ask these big questions? Okay. And I was like, I think we are not very aggressive. Yeah. I, naturally, I'm not a very aggressive person. Mm -hmm. I just let things go. When you give me the opportunity, I'll do it. But I won't push it so hard. That is me. Mm -hmm. And it's a weakness and I accept it. So I told her sometimes we are not pushy, we, are not, we don't fall up so much. And uh, I told her about my proposal that has been on the shelves for over two years. Mm. And um, she didn't say much, mm. but later I got to know when they went for the H, uh, head of meeting, I mean head of department's meeting, she was like, I need to see, I haven't seen that proposal, but I believe she can do something. Wow. I need to see her mm. show on air in three months. So things moved and yeah, yeah, with are with Moses yeah. There she was, a yeah, woman there who believed in you. Yeah, and a few months later, yeah. at a party, company party, mm -hmm. she gave me, uh, she awarded me mm -hmm. as the best show. Wow. So just a few months later. She was like, this is a show we were afraid of, we didn't know its direction, but we gave it a chance and it's performing so well. Yeah, and the other lady who helped me was uh, Rose. Rose Bukirwa, she's, uh, she's an editor mm. at UBC now. She, mm -hmm. She's good at Uganda. So when I just joined from uni, I didn't know much Luganda, by the way. Are you serious? Yeah, apart from the Luganda we speak at home, uh, uh -huh. mother tongue, yeah. I wasn't good with the vocabulary and the pronunciations, yeah. yeah. So when I went out for my first story, uh, those who don't know Luganda usually do their scripts in English and hand them over to the editor who translates them and mm. somebody else voices and then they can edit. Mm. So I also came mm. with my English script and gave it to her. She's <laughs> like, what's your name? Ah, Nakazi, okay. You see that computer? Mm. Sit there and, and translate. So I was like, mm -hmm. I went. She told me it doesn't matter how many hours it takes you, but try. Yes. I went, did it, did it, and I even didn't know how to voice. I would go to the soundboard and spend an hour. Remember, I don't use it alone. Mm. As I'm there, nana, gira. Um, the flow wasn't it? but of course these things come with experience yeah. eventually I got it I didn't even have to go through the script I would go to the soundboard read and, 
and out. So for me, she helped a lot. And I noticed Luganda is something, uh, those people used to look at it as a lower class, mm. just for lower people, yeah. For me, I think it's amazing. I think you've given it, I don't know how to explain it. You make Luganda sound so good. Sound like English. <laughs> yeah. For me, I think, like you said in the beginning, mm. it has become a part of me. It has become a walk in the park. Yeah. I may be stressed. Actually, there's a day I went on air, yeah. I was crying. Something had just wow. happened. Okay. Yeah. And in the makeup room, that is the last thing we do before we go on air. Because you've gone through your scripts and you're doing your makeup to go to the studio. Yeah. I was crying and I was like, okay, am I surviving this? Mm. But when I go on set and the director is like, Farida, one, two, three, I don't know what happens. Yes. I don't know what happens. I never remember, even when my daughter is sick in hospital. Mm. There's a way I shut. I don't remember until we are done with the show. Mm. Oh my God, let me call the hospital. It's the same with me, no matter what I'm going through. The moment I get on that stage mm. and that music goes on, I forget everything. If I've been crying, if I've got terrible news just before getting on stage. I remember after I suffered my loss, for me, Yes, those first couple of months, I took away. I, I took a break and went away. I really but, did not. Um, I don't think I would yeah. ever meet you and say I watched you. I, I don't know. I would imagine. Because yeah. I used to hear Karen mm. when you used to work at Capital. Actually, yeah. it's my sister who always told me, Julian has come with Karen, come and listen. Yeah. <laughs> she used to love you so much. Yeah. So when that thing happened, I don't know why I cried. Mm. I looked at a woman with just one child. Yeah. Who he, I mean, she loves so much, yeah. and this child is gone, it and was, she's in the public very, very eye, and there are people who are saying nasty things, yes. like they're not human. Yeah. That's like. Yeah. What's interesting is um, when I went through that, I noticed that no matter what you go through, people are out there just expecting you to get back to work as if life is normal, mm -hmm. as if nothing has happened. Um, I mean, they would send me messages and ask me why I've taken so long to come back on stage. You know, it took me a while. But anyway, my point was, once I finally got stronger and, and, and got back uh, to working, I was still low. I was still very depressed. I actually went through depression for like a year. But the music, I don't know what it was, but mm. for me it was like therapy. Like every time I'd get... I actually spent a lot of my time in studio because it sort of acted like a healing a medicine for me. Mm. Every time I got in studio and recorded music and just got into that zone, I would sort of forget my forget pain. Forget for, for those few hours. For those few hours. And then I'd go back home and cry all night. And, but then again, I'd have to wake up and, and, and put up appearance and people want me to perform and I have mm. to come out looking good. Because um, there's somebody who is there waiting for that picture of Juliana, sweating and crying and, hang and looking, looking lousy, lousy and, and they won't remember she's going through a hard time. Yes, yes, it's, it's hard for a woman. Avantu Tevaina Mitima. Sometimes I don't comment so much on social media, but I watch. I go there just specifically to say who has said what. Yeah, yeah. Somebody will say something sensible. They will not get comments. They will Isn't not. that funny? And then someone posts something controversial. And a woman just... has a woman has taken over the other's marriage. Uh, this one was nabbed with so and so. I swear you will get hundreds of comments on that. And everybody is trying to tell you. I knew. I knew she actually did that in primary school. So I'm not <laughs> shocked. She doesn't even know which school you went to. Yes, yeah. Yes. But come up with something. Somebody needs help. You will see them. The most they can do is like, oh, Bambi, let God help. God should intervene. Mm -hmm. That's when they remember. Yeah. yeah it, it's unfortunate. Katonda atu yambi. But it doesn't, government. it doesn't stop you from doing what's right. It doesn't. You have to keep doing it what's right. Because they're and so. uh, good enough, there are so many other good people out there as oh, well. Oh, yeah. So many. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because I've seen people change people's lives on this show. Mm. Yeah, you bring someone, they have their own issues, and people will call yeah. from as far as Germany, from as far as uh, the USA, and they're like, we need to help. What should we do? What do you think we can do? And you're like, okay, 
let's talk to them, let's see what they're capable of doing, and let's try to help. And they've changed people. They've How does that make help. you feel? Oh knowing God. that but your just, show has changed people's lives, has inspired people, has taught people things. I mean, when you watch your show, you're going to learn something about your health. Mm -hmm. You're going to learn something about relationships. And I hear people actually, I watch you a lot, so I hear people calling in and they have real challenges in their relationships. How do you feel that your platform has helped people? That is what pushes me. Mm. There's a time I was like, okay, I am going, I'm going to leave the media. Oh. I didn't want to stay in the media for so long. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I believe there's new talent that mm. is coming up mm. and they don't have so many opportunities. So when you create space, Yes. Uh, they also get the chance mm -hmm. and also there are people who will who don't want to see you in their faces for a very long time yeah so I thought we can also go do certain other things but every time I get these testimonies mm. I'm like okay she can actually even get something even more than yes. that so you keep pushing and just these testimonies that are giving me a lot of energy a lot of hope yeah and it is the reason I started the show. Mm. Every time I went back home to Zimbabwe, you see people and wonder, are these people living with us? People are Does so anyone ignorant. Does know their story? Yeah. They are so ignorant. Yeah. There is a school out there, I mean, about a few kilometers away. Yes. But these children are going to dig at 9 a.m. while others are in school. Yeah. And you ask this lady, why isn't this child in school? She's like, ah, ate wana gena tunali ache. Chidaba. Kata ina songa why the child is not going to school. Aina orusuku etaka. And they're telling you they don't have food. Kagolaba bantu, sometimes resources was in the end or not. But whatever the courses are to, to, to their best. Because taina cha manye, she has 20,000. Zibakendo kuliyako, zibakendo kola chi. Nae chencha te chiri uwe, cho kuliyencha te chiri uwe. Kuma atasa wukosa ka sente kano, katono nabanga sobolo kupuna mu. Echida la mpola mpola. So abantu wafe they are there baba kuba, they are battered. Mkaza ali yao, she has nowhere to run to. Kubanga ba mugamba, go get married and when you get married you can't live at whatever cost. Even when you are beaten, you stay there, your bed has been thrown out. Mm. So, only come here for functions. And this person is there, the man they got married to is beating them. Yeah. Back at home, you're not supposed to report. So where do they run where to? Do, About This is go. how people end up killing themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So people needed to hear some words of hope, words mm. of wisdom, encouragement from somebody else. And for me, the testimonies I get, yeah. are like, okay, I think we are still on track. Yeah. Um, as a woman who works in the media, I think you've noticed that women have been victims in terms of media reporting mm. in many ways. People still look, still look at us as, I think, flowers because of our body shapes, I mean, body shapes, our okay. appearance. Yeah. And they, want, they think by uh, shaming us, uh, there's a, a problem now. Mm. Not too much good news is covered. It is the bad that makes a lot of sense. To bad, people. negative. Somebody will bypass the good. Mm. I don't know. Farida, Farida has, uh, has won an award somewhere. Some people will just look at it and just move on. It is okay. Mm. But you talk about Farida uh, losing her boyfriend. Now that is big to mm. them. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether you talk to them to find out why it is always the bad, but it still comes I back to the, the media. Maybe the negative sells more for them. Mm, and I don't know. Um, and I think it's the media that is creating it, unfortunately. Because usually the media directs a lot mm. uh, where country or where society is heading, yes. uh, depending on what they report. Mm. But every time we come up with uh, negative people in a society of people that are depressed, because mm. we have a society that's, that is depressed out because mm. of so much eh? yeah. unemployment, uh, or so many orphans, mm. and uh, a lot. Mm. So people are depressed. Because of that depression, they want to carry so many others with them. Why yeah. should somebody be happy 
yeah. when I'm, I'm, I'm here wallowing in pain. Mm. So media should learn to encourage um, society. Mm. Yeah, this is happening to you, it is not the end of the world. You have finished school, you've moved around for two, three, four years without a job. You can use that transport, you're moving around uh, people's offices mm. to start up something new mm. and then something good for you. And when somebody is busy, they rarely, rarely care about these small issues. Yeah. Because they're too busy to even mind. To worry about that. Yeah. But I don't know why negativity has carried so much they, space. I don't understand why, because to be honest with you, I, all the times I travel, the media here seems to be more depressing than any newspapers, any news that I read out there. Mm. I don't know why, but it's somebody will, will sleep, dream about something. Negativity and They'll dream about something, and to them it's reality when they wake up. They want to put it somewhere for everybody else to share. It's a dream they had, it's an imagination they had, mm. and they, you see something and it is news to you. Yeah. But they're talking about you. You don't know mm. what they're talking about. Yeah. But I think that is why also God, unfortunately, may fail to bless us. Because we we are so we are so I don't know which word to use. A society that pretends to know God, mm. yet they do otherwise. We are blessed with so much good. Uh, in terms of tourism, the green, the water bodies and all that mm. that can attract people. Mm. People come here and surprisingly we praise them when they mm. come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love them even more than our own. Yeah. Yeah. So we have this much good, but somehow we are complaining all the time. This is not going for me. This is not going for me. So God is saying, will these people ever appreciate? Mm. Even the little I've given them, they are complaining. Mm. complaining. They can't make good use of. Yeah. So what do I do for such a society? And he looks, he acts like he's sleeping. Mm. And you're like, God, Katwanda, Tuera, Vite, Tuera. Ana, Vera, Vera, Tenga, you're negative people. Exactly. You're throwing you're stones at everybody. Or you don't see it. Ata, I'm totally happy. There's no way they can be happy yeah. for others. Yeah. Yeah. Vera, why should she smile when I'm crying? Mm. Mm. Oh, Farida. It's funny. It's been lovely having you. Thank you. Thank for you choosing so much me. for making time. Uh, it was interesting to hear what it's like for you to be in the media as a woman. Yeah. And uh, I believe anyone out there who wants to and be people like shouldn't, you, they shouldn't be afraid. Should you can be make it. No matter what someone tells you, yes. you don't have the voice. Yeah, because we've seen them. Yes. Crystal has been around for some time exactly. on radio and she, she continues to, to fly high. Mm -hmm. So nobody should tell you that things are becoming so hard. Yeah, yeah they, can be, uh, they can be hard because people are saying that. Mm -hmm. But you will actually come and you have the potential to turn things around. Mm -hmm. Though it needs collective effort. You True. can't do it single-handedly. That I'm going to come and say this and this and people will listen. You're saying this, somebody else is saying the opposite. Mm -hmm. And uh, with a society that loves negativity, yeah. they're most likely to go the other side. But True. there are also people who are very willing to learn and change. Mm -hmm. That is for me what gives me a lot of courage. Yeah. If people would know what is good for our society to drive it to where we want it to be mm. and everybody makes i mean tries to do that we will get there we'll get to i don't know how how long it's going to take us but we need more people to speak good things to speak positivity and our people will eventually change we may not take negativity. all of them but mm. the That's few that it. come yeah will probably mm. preach it to that yeah. person who can't listen to us yeah personally i feel there's too much negativity. I think it's starting to affect even the way we say things generally. Mm -hmm. You know, you find people depressed, people saying things that are so negative because their mindset is stuck in that negative. And the media plays a big role in that. Yeah, we need people who can use their social media platforms in a way that can can Affect impact positively. positively. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I feel sorry for our children and sure. we can no longer hide these things away from oh, them. No. Mm. It's right on the smartphone. Yeah. <laughs> I will try, but away. you don't know when your child steps out of your face uh, who is going to show them yes. what is on their phone and yes. on that computer. So we need more responsible citizens. Yes. 
Well, thank you for coming. Farida. You're welcome. It's thank you nice too. Having you. Thank you. I hope this uh, takes you even higher than your idea. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's always been my dream to share women's stories mm -hmm. because sometimes I feel like we're not celebrated enough. Yeah. yeah so we need to celebrate ourselves mm -hmm. every day because we do amazing stuff. Do you want to just be on TV today and tomorrow? Or do you want to be there for the rest of your life? Yeah. So most people, they, and that's the problem women have these days, is mm. not knowing where they want to be in the next 10 years. <laughs>